The last time it was me behind the mic, I managed to talk my girlfriend into playing Dark Souls. She was even nice enough to let me make a video about it. It's been a couple months since then, she clearly wasn't traumatized enough from the whole thing because she wanted to play another. This time, she chose Hollow Knight. <gasps> Out of all the games I could have picked for her, Hollow Knight was the one game she requested by name. She backseated me on this game a couple summers ago and wanted to have a piece of the action. This time around, I was pretty excited to see how she'd do with a Metroidvania. Of course, explaining game genres went pretty much how you'd expect it. Nice. Not bad for Metromania. Metroidvania. Oh, Metroidmania. No, Vania. Right off the bat, I had an evil little grin when I handed her the controller. Because my girlfriend and platformers have a history of not mixing well. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god. I really thought I was gonna pull it out there. When I'd sit down to watch her, I found myself holding my breath at the simplest jumps. For her, every single platform is its own battle. Where someone like me or another player sees a challenge with a reward at the end, she sees a headache not worth having over a couple of extra geo. Get the hang of this dashy thing. Oh! Ah! We always like to joke there's this sixth sense she's missing in gaming. I see. We blame it on her not growing up with these games and discovering them later in life. There'll be clear hints and indicators of what to do or not to do right in front of her. They'll soar completely over her head. What's in here? It kills me to not say anything, but with that being said, it's for the same reason I find it fun and refreshing to watch her play. Oh, it doesn't go higher? She's got a childlike sense of wonder over the smallest little things that happens. Sometimes she'll start cheering in excitement, and I'll be looking at the screen trying to figure out what the hell happened. Whoa! Oh, that's super cool. Oh, wait. I already knew that. She's pretty good at about finding things for herself and exploring, and I didn't want to interfere too much with the experience. Although, I'd occasionally nudge her in the right direction because she was so hopelessly lost, I couldn't help it. Maybe you should try swinging. <laughs> The years of watching me be Mr. Minmax and chase after completion in games has rubbed off on her. One of her favorite things was finding Cornifer and completing the map for each area. <gasps> map two. Yay! Seeing her get excited over his humming was always fun. I can finally see where the hell I am. But to be honest, she'd get really paranoid about missing him in new areas. I saw a little bit of myself in her, especially since I know damn well he's right around the corner. We'll make a completionist out of you yet. I have a little hero. Hello! We're buds. She struggled a bit more with this game than she did with Dark Souls because it rewards a very aggressive playstyle. Dark Souls, she was able to hide pretty comfortably behind her shield and take a slow approach to new areas. <laughs> After watching her, I came to realize Hollow Knight has a much more fast-paced tempo than I'd given it credit for. When an enemy charges at you, you gotta stand your ground and strike first. You can't just run away. The soul system rewards being aggressive. It gives you more options to go on the offensive and also provides a way to heal. She'd always save her soul strictly for heals. Even when the meter was topped off, she was anxious about not being able to heal when she'd really need it. I don't need it. Sometimes you gotta just get good and try again, though. Get the! It's no secret to me the main reason she picked Hollow Knight was because she thought the character was cute. <laughs> He's so cute and little. Coming off a dark and gritty game like Dark Souls, can't really blame her. I don't think either of us expected her to grow so attached to these characters, though. What's her name again? Who? Ooh, her name was like Flannel or something. What? <laughs> Seriously, my girlfriend is a full-blown super fan now. You think I'm joking, but I'm not. Start calling her Nail Master. Um because you're going to want to learn this nail art. Finna. All in all, it's been awesome watching Haloness through her eyes. Everything I thought I knew about the game gets a fresh filter. Green path. That's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> that is straight up a penis. It's nice of her to humor me by playing difficult games every once in a while. Hopefully I don't push the envelope too far. I haven't scared her off yet, though. What's even better is I've got someone to wait for Silk Song with. Shut and it's very validating to see anyone who plays Hollow Knight, boyfriend or girlfriend, hates Primal Aspens. Oh shit. Ah! God damn it. 
He's a little shit is what he is. She's not wrong. 